January for possessing nine ounces of cocaine. To avoid prosecution, Phillips went undercover and drove to Manning's Hopkinsville home, where officers say he bought crack cocaine for distribution. Manning faces 10 years in prison when he's sentenced in December in U.S. District Court in Paducah. Well, last night it was the football game, and tonight it is an all-night sock hop from alumni for alumni from Paducah Tillman, and they will be celebrating. All graduating classes from 1960 to 1970 are invited to dance the night away. Jennifer Johnson joins us now live from Paducah Tillman High School. Jennifer, it sounds like they're reliving their glory days a bit. They most definitely have. What you and I might drive by every day and just see as a Paducah High School, former students, they see it as a legend in its own time. Tonight, that time would have been the 1960s, obviously. There have been a number of changes with this facility over the years, but to the people who toured this place today, well, they say the memories are the same. Just need to come back through and remember who was there and see how they changed. Call it a trip down memory lane, if you will. Students who graduated in the 60s met up for a nostalgic tour of Paducah Tillman High School. Some who haven't set foot in the sacred halls in over 30 years. We got the invitation. Our kids weren't playing ball and they weren't involved in anything else. Most of them are grown and out of the house now. And I looked at it and I said, it said PTHS on it. I knew what it was. And I thought, well, we need to go to this. What alumni found was a building that hasn't changed and rules that have. Yeah, the, the lobby of the gym was the smoking lounge when we were, at least when I was in yeah. school. It was, is that true all the way through? I, I... What do you think On second the thought, maybe the building isn't the same. That it's not as big as I thought it was or as scary. But the main Sometimes it isn't the building or the people, but the era that is remembered most. I remember every time I see that door, I remember that. Remember what? It was when Kennedy they announced that shot. President Kennedy had been shot. We had uh, English, senior English in that room, and uh, they came in and announced that. We went on to the next class, and I was in uh, an algebra class, and it wasn't long until they announced uh, that he had died. An era that may have died, a tradition that won't. Mary Beth, as I mentioned, there is a sock hop tonight that's at Bluegrass Downs, and it's for anyone who was at this school from 1960 to 1970. But organizers say they are welcoming anybody who is an alumni. Sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks for your report, Jennifer. And while some folks are spending the weekend reminiscing...